Hey guys, and welcome to the Bullet for My Valentine Guitar Lesson Library. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play One Good Reason Why from the 2008 album Scream Aim Fire. If you want the full guitar lesson for this song plus lessons for many other Bullet for My Valentine songs, be sure to check out my Bullet for My Valentine guitar lesson library over on my Patreon page. As always, it's going to be a great idea for you guys to have my cover open, maybe in a separate window or even the track, just so you can reference what's going on here and uh, you can see how everything's played up to speed. As always, we're going to keep to the standard lesson format for this video, so we're going to go through the entire song section by section and I'll teach you all the left guitars and the right guitars. This one's got no leads in it, so I like to think of it as basically one big rhythm guitar solo. It's really good for your down picking and it's a really fun song to play, so let's get into it. So the first thing that we'll talk about is tuning. This one's in your standard bullet of my Valentine tuning. It's a drop C tuning. So low to high, that is going to be C, G, C, F, A, B. So get yourselves in tune and let's get to it. So I've split the intro up into three sections. Section one for the left guitar looks something like this. Okay, so breaking that down, we've got this little sort of intro lick. Okay, so you're going to take sort of like your middle finger and we're going to be going to third fret on the fifth string. You go into second fret after that. Then you're going to bring your pinky back to fifth fret on the sixth string. Okay, and then you're going to go back with your first finger to the two. Then you're going to just walk it down on the fifth string, five, three, two. And that's it. And that is all palm muted, by the way. Okay, moving into sort of like the main riff now, and it's one of those again where you're going to want to make sure you're happy with it because this pops up a lot throughout the song. Um, it looks something like this. So you've got. So you're going to start this off with an accented fifth string, followed by a palm mute, okay? Then you're going to do seven with a palm mute in the middle on the fifth string. And then you're going to be going down to five, okay? And those notes are on the fourth string, okay? So you've got. Once you get to that point, two more palm mutes. Okay, so you've got. Then you're going to take it up to eight with a palm mute in the middle. And then you've got your seven. Okay, so so far. And you're gonna finish that little run there with a the, with the palm mute again on the fifth strings. There's a lot of um, sort of like counter mutes between the notes, so just watch out for those. Okay, once you get to that point, you've got a five on the fourth string, palm mute in the middle, and then you're gonna finish on seven. Okay, so it's. Okay. Then you're going to start it again. So it's the same sort of idea. Then what you've got at the end of that is a little tail. It looks something like that, okay? So we're going to do two strums on a C5 power chord. Uh, one strum on your sixth and fifth string power chord. So first finger flat, fifth fret. And then you've got seven, five, seven. Like that. Okay, so. Just watch for where the palm mutes are. Okay, so, so far. And then what's going to happen is you're just going to repeat it. Okay. 